At the end of an unassuming road in Monroe, one family has amassed a collection of some of Connecticut's most allegedly haunted items. Holy water has a little extra protection to you guys. And what you do, all you need to do now... Ed and Lorraine Warren opened the Warren Occult Museum in 1952. Now closed to the public, the few allowed in must first be blessed with holy water to protect against the evil believed to be within. Many of the items in the collection have been featured in films like the Amityville Horror and the many Conjuring and Annabelle movies. Items from the museum believed to be haunted, like a self-playing organ. Ed was in the kitchen. He hears the organ start to play. He said somebody must have broken into the museum. He runs downstairs, opens the door up through the store here, and everything stops. And there's nobody here. It's not broken into. Happened three different times. And the wreckage from a downed airplane one of the crew members is believed to appear in were selected to be displayed at Mohegan Sun for the Warrens' Seekers of the Supernatural Paracon. Museum curator and son-in-law to the Warrens, Tony Spera, said some of the most dangerous artifacts not yet in films will also be displayed, like a shadow doll found in a vintage store. It's made specifically for, for uh, incantations and curses. Uh, it's made out of like a paper mache-ish kind of thing for the face, but if you look at the mouth, there's a human tooth. Oh, okay. And you'll see bird feathers. Those are actual bird feathers animal bones. See the bones sticking out there? And a chain, nails. It's an ugly item, right? And how it works is this. Say uh, say Daniel's fooling around with my girlfriend, right? He's a wise guy. He's fooling around with my girlfriend. And I don't like him. And I'm a sorcerer or a wizard. What I would do as a sorcerer or a wizard, I would take a photograph of that doll. Then I would print it out. And on the back of the photo, I would write a curse, only known only to me, for him. And then I would mail that envelope with the photo to Daniel. And just by Daniel accepting the photograph, when he pulls it out, he accepts the curse that's on the back. Many well, items were found or recovered after Ed Warren's paranormal investigations, like what's believed to be a satanic idol found in the woods near Sandy Hook around 1991. Spurra said the idol was found by a hunter who was chased away by a mysterious man in a dark cloak. After recovering the idol, Lorraine Warren was struck with an unexplained illness. Ed Warren believed it was a curse placed on his family by a satanic priest whom the idol belonged to. Some of the items in the museum are not relics, but homages to some of Connecticut's most infamous urban legends, like the White Lady of Union Graveyard. This is uh, an amazing story because... She's been spotted more than 90 years ago. According to Spera, a man was driving down Route 59 in Easton when the white lady appeared in the road. Her hands were up and she appeared to jump into the car as the driver hit the brakes, feeling a presence pass him by and leaving him with a sense of sorrow and compassion. Ed Warren died in 2006, but his office has been preserved much in the way he left it including old recording equipment his character is seen using in the Conjuring films, and a tan jacket he was known to wear. Spera said the artifacts and relics in the museum are not destroyed, so the evil doesn't have an opportunity to escape and find another vessel. He warned even those who might not believe in the supernatural shouldn't challenge the evil he believes resides in dolls like Annabelle. We have a Catholic priest come. He's going to come the day before we move it to Mohegan Sun. And he's going to bless this museum, us, and he's going to bless the doll itself, uh, along with the case. He'll say certain ritualistic binding prayers, they're called. They bind what's there uh, so it can't go any further than the case. In other words, you know those old, uh, those electric dog fences? Mm -hmm. uh, the dog goes so far he feels a shock, or whatever it is, and he stops. Well, the evil, those prayers, allow the evil to only go so far, and it stops it, it encases it from going farther. 